Hello, I'm Captain Stacy Spell of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about a law enforcement related injury, also known as a Leary, that occurred in Hollywood Division in the city of Los Angeles on June 2, 2020. A Leary is a use of force incident where an individual requires hospitalization. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete. And our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. And I'm going to give you a brief overview of an incident that occurred on June 2nd, 2020, around 2.40 p.m. Los Angeles police officers from 77 Patrol Division were assigned to a mobile field force in Hollywood due to the citywide civil unrest. A mobile field force is simply a group of officers who are easily deployed on foot or in vehicles to address rapidly developing incidents. While in the area of Hollywood Boulevard and Ivar Avenue, the officers were directed to disperse a large crowd from the intersection, at which time an officer used a 40 millimeter less lethal launcher, which struck an unknown male individual in the groin area. The individual left the area and was not identified. The 40 millimeter less lethal device fires a foam projectile round. The round strikes the person's body and is intended to cause pain, and while there may be bruising, it is designed to be non-penetrating by distributing energy over a broad surface area. On June 11, 2020, the Los Angeles Times published an article related to the protest. In the article, the Times identified a male named Ben Montemayor, who alleged that he was struck in the groin by a rubber bullet fired by police. Montemayor also wrote a social media post on Instagram about his experience at the protest and the medical treatment that he received for his injuries as a result of the impact. Although investigators from the LAPD Safe LA Task Force have attempted to contact Montemayor about the incident, he has not provided investigators with a detailed account of the incident and instead referred them to his attorney. In addition, it is undetermined if Montemayor was admitted or hospitalized as a direct result of these alleged injuries. Body-worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officer saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. Here's the body-worn video from an officer involved in this incident. As a result of the Los Angeles Times article and Instagram posting, a complaint investigation was generated 
and on August 19th, 2020, it was determined that LAPD's Force Investigation Division would investigate this incident as a categorical use of force or law enforcement related injury, also known as a leery. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. They will continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. After the investigation is completed, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police, who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The Board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics and use of force in this instance met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you would like more information on how the LAPD and the LA District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, visit LAPD online.org where you can also find LAPD's use of force policies and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.